All right. Welcome to Battle Vortex. All right. Well, I'm just starting again. It's obviously I don't want to reroll or war for out, so I'm going to reroll. I need another salty dogs. Oh, awesome! I got it second try. All right. Let's go ahead and put that on my hawks again. Confirm and launch. Uh, find relay. It's currently 16 minutes after the hour. It's going to take me a couple minutes to get up here. I'm going to go ahead and just pour me some water. All right. <clears throat> 30 seconds. Hey, good morning, Assassin Killer. How you doing? try to get me some more ranking done I got a an appointment coming up and a uh, doctor's appointment in um, in an hour and 12 minutes so I'm gonna try to fit this in and then maybe I can get one more in before they quit we'll see so I just put a fresh crew on so I got like got it for 50 minutes And uh, if I did my calculating correctly, uh, then um, the last uh, break that the crews took, or the um, rating fleets took, should have been at 7, and the next one I think will be at 10. And it's currently 9. Um, so I should be able to fit this whole crew in no problem. Oh yeah, awesome. Did you, uh, did you get a lot of XP? Let me see if I can get away from these guys real quick. That's awesome. I probably got about 37,000 XP on these things. Uh, my weakest one, all of them got shields now, but my weakest, lowest ranked one had, um, yesterday it had one stripe on it. I mean, it was fairly new. It just it hasn't been off the assembly line very long and, uh, I had uh, another one, or I'm sorry, uh, and I already got shields on it. I mean, I managed to go from one stripe to three stars, like in one outing. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, it's great. I'd like to do my enforcer, but sadly my enforcer was smashed. 
So, my base got killed yesterday pretty good. These things go into some crazy patterns, man, I tell you. I'm really chasing this guy out here right now, to be honest with you. Because, uh, you know, those stragglers, man, they can take a whole uh, cycle surface cycle by themselves can't get too close because they uh, have a tendency to turn and stuff you just don't know what they're going to do half the time Yeah, I'll admit I, uh, I I had did get kind of excited about these raiding fleets coming out. Come here, you. Uh, I don't have any son. Oh, how much sonar do the Mercuries have? Uh, they don't have enough. I'll say that they don't have enough. I um. I hate to say that publicly though, because I don't want them to freaking put thermal on them. If they put thermal on them, I'm done. But, uh, yeah, the sonar, uh, they, they don't have enough sonar on them. I've, I've got Cat 3 on these, and I've got uh, the D2S armors all loaded up on here. So, I can handle a pretty decent amount of sonar. Uh, my, I do have D2S armor loaded on all of my armor slots, and uh, they are R10. I, I did get, do have my uh, D, D2S armor, stealth armor loaded all the way to 10. Bridge fitted to 10. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Um, I don't know what kind of armor you got on them, you know, because that might might be the difference. You know, they got that blog site that um, that Zenth guy generally likes to post uh, stats from inside the game, and um, they. Um, He, he might actually have, like, sonar, all the info on there that you might be looking for. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Yeah, that guy. I don't know how do you, I don't know how to say his name. It might be Snee. I, I'm not really sure. Coming up with a pronunciation for that to make sense to me is kind of a challenge. <laughs> X N I H. But yeah, that guy.
I get all up in there, don't I? That's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. Hey, take care of us. That's a killer. That was west, so let me go straight down to south. Really move here. There should be more of these spawning like in a minute. And there's probably gonna be some despawning as well. clock says it's 29 after the hour so What? There's a billion of them. I love it. Love it. Oh, it's the base. Oh, no retreat button. How awesome is that? All right. Now join. Retreat. No bases, not doing the bases. At least the boats on that one, nothing moves.
excuse me. Hey, Danny. Yeah, I don't know how many people are on here. I know the only person that says hi to me so far was Assassin Killer. I just haven't looked. Boom. I'll peek real quick. Yeah, it looks like Barnacle Joe's on here. Assassin Killer still signed in. And then you, Danny. Welcome to my raid call. Or my, my Twitch chat. I am on raid call. Holy moly. Oh wait, this is safe. I'm good. See how many of these I can wipe out. Ah, it was awesome. Awesome. Basically on these ones right here with the uh, lightning carriers and the kudas, I just drive towards the center of the screen. If I manage to pick up a sonar with a, a, a barracuda with my sonar, then I, uh, well I don't really have any sonar, but if I manage to pick up a kuda, then I'll stop. I throw on the brakes. That's generally not a problem. Well, is it possible to rank them without damage? Yeah, I think so. I think um, usually um, if you've got uh, any kind of countermeasures on your, if you got, because the mauler, if I'm not mistaken, has some kind of countermeasure bonuses for, because it's really the mortars that you want to watch out for. And if you put, um, if you also, if you put a decoy a sub in, if you have a, like a decoy specter you could put in with a battery, um, that will help you out too. That is because if you can get the um, if you can get the uh, the salvage ships to um, target the the decoy instead of your your ships and your golden.
Oh, um, I guess uh, Assassin. I don't know, Danny. If if you're talking about with the the raiding fleets, then no, I wouldn't do it. But uh, if you were talking about salvage cargo, then it's possible. Those are siege torps people flying out of there like that, like assault torps. That's awesome. Oh, island. What is up with this thing? And every time I get an island, I don't have a retreat button. All right, and join. Retreat. All right, so move. And I just go back home here because I'm sure there's more there now. Yeah, the new cruisers are a tough one to rank with these things. You really just have to be very um, picky. If you see something like what I just did with the, um, you know, when I see the bases, I don't hit them with subs. Uh, I retreat. And basically, you just need to be just as particular when you're ranking uh, uh, your launcher fleets. Um, you need to be very specific. Figure out which one it is that you can kill with your launchers. And um, and uh, and hit those. You know, if it's only one, then I, all you can do is drive around and peek and see. Oh crap! All right, I, I actually did that without taking any hits. I'm I'm just in awe. I, I managed to get both of them inside my both of those kudos minimum range at the same time. Fortunately, with my Nighthawks, I can pretty much kill all of them without damage, with the exception of the base. The, the, the ones that have the base turrets in them, obviously the base turrets are a problem, but so are the Vipers. Boy, I'm loving the reload on these things right now. Yeah, you might do really well if you've got high evade too. Um, if you're able to do something to get your evade up um, against the missiles, and then have you know countermeasures for missiles, and then uh, and then just try fighting it a couple at a time. So take care for real this time, assassin killer. <laughs>
just doesn't feel like a whole lot of people are hitting these this time. It's like not a lot of competition for them at all. Go ahead and start turning away. <clears throat> hey, good morning, boss man. How you doing today? Boss man, I might be porting out today. Um, just so you know, my outpost should be repaired. And uh, I might be able to go join some of my crew. Might be going to Sector 8. I need to talk to my wife, though. Got to keep the wife happy. Come here, you guys. Yeah, it's amazing. It just doesn't feel like a lot of competition. Uh, 308. What's going on in 308? Let me reposition real quick. See if I can get more comfortable. <laughs> Relay move here. Come on, you. I was going to say. Yeah, well, I need easy alloy points. Uh, quite honestly, man, they got uh, there's a lot of tough bases out there these days. Um, not mine though. Just a lot of people out there spend a lot more coin than I do. Come on now, golly. actually like hitting in sector myself um, however you know I, I don't I don't like a lot of drama and you know 
if there's a lot of people in this sector that scream about hitting in sector, I won't do it. It's just, I prefer to play the game to have fun, and I wish other people would do the same. But a lot of people get on here, and they're mainly on here to socialize. Oh, dang, I didn't kill it. Oops. Yeah, I'm, I'm generally $100 a month, but um, I don't know if any, how many of you guys watched the show last night, but uh, not this month. I basically, uh, I, I didn't give them my $100 this month like I, I typically do. I managed to hold out for this month and uh, I, I'm currently sitting at zero gold so but right now my intention is not to put any more gold on my account I, I don't have anything right now going on that I feel like I absolutely I mean people are going to kill my base no matter how much I spend anyway and uh, and I don't see the amount of money that I'm able to spend making a huge difference in my ability to kill bases so I think twenty dollars every two weeks is a fair amount. Uh, quite honestly, oh, it's a shame that um, a lot of times it doesn't really feel like you get much value for that, if any. But Yeah, oh, what did I just do? Cancel that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, if I don't, I don't know what to say about people that cry. I mean, I'm I definitely can't support that. But uh, people people want to cry on here about having their base hit because that's what we're all signed up for. The day we create a base is to uh, build a base to have it tested and um, you know build fleets to kill bases I mean we all do sign up for the same thing but somewhere something changes and I, I believe that it's in the sectors that basically push people to not hit in sector you know they they, they push those rules out and uh, and it just changes people's perspective all of a sudden the game is not people don't all of a sudden play anymore for for the game they're all now all of a sudden they're playing for something else Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind keeping some gold on my account just for, like, dock repair, you know. But now that I have my Nighthawk fleet, I actually keep it outside of my base most of the time. So even when my base gets smashed, I have something to do. I can go out and rank or... I don't know. I can usually do something.
Yeah. Yeah, and that's totally unnecessary. I mean, it's just the the game is full of poor sports and but they cover it up with uh I don't know, pirate game or whatever. I don't know. But I guess in 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 uh, they like to have fun too and maybe that's how they have fun. I don't know. It's not how I prefer to play, but Yeah, we've been there. We've been to 295. A lot of them are okay. It seems like uh, the, the, the trash talk can get kind of bad with some of them. Um, but for the most part, the DFB 12 guys really aren't too bad. I noticed they like to hit here in 293 a lot. But they've got their hands full right now, from what I understand. Uh, when I peeked over there last time, there was that hitter crew, and uh, there was another crew that was over there smashing them up pretty good. So I'm getting some Facebook PMs, I think. I'm pushing it. I'm probably going to surface. Mm, kill, kill, kill. Whew. Yeah, that used to be a lot of fun. I remember doing that back in the day, a couple of years back. Um, we used to go on like these huge raids, our alliance, uh, the alliance that I was in. We used to go on these huge raids in other sectors, and um, that's when I was before before I was with NBK. But it was a ton of fun. Yes, ma'am. Well, man. I actually got a pretty decent amount of uh, submersion time still. And there's like four of them over here in a bunch. I probably could have got all of them. Can't wait to dock these and see how much uh, XP I got. I had uh, 
the the set I did last night after you went to bed. I had over seventeen thousand, almost eighteen thousand, I think. I got it on video though. Yeah, it was it was awesome. It was awesome. R5 Mercuries. Oh wow, more just spawned too. Let's see what time I got left. I got five minutes, six minutes left to my crew. Man, I'm starving, man. I'm ready to eat. Oh, somebody saw me. Bummer. Oh, dang. I just got wrecked. Holy moly. I just lost all of my Nighthawks on Mercury's. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. They had the depth charge charges, the Poseidon depth charges. I mean, it just... <sighs> wow, is all I could say. That was amazing. That's what I'm going to be doing. But, um, uh, my crew was almost dead anyway. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. I don't know if any of y'all seen that, but that was awesome. I got a little too conf confident in there, a little too cocky. That was just... It was my mind. It just blew my mind. I, I couldn't believe that, uh, you know, when I saw the health go down a little bit, but then it just kept going down. I was like, oh, my goodness. I went from full health to no health, man, in, like, seconds. Y'all going to love to see this repair bill. It takes so long to get home, though, when it's, when it's dead. I mean, look how slow it's going. Says I got three minutes to go. <clears throat> Dang, that was pretty awesome, though. I had a nice roll. Yeah, I went for a long time too, and no damage at all. I let, I just got too close to a Mercury, is what happened. Lesson learned. Yeah, lesson learned. And, uh, and I think the reason why I took so much damage is because I got close enough for one of them to see me, but multiple of them were able to fire at me. Yeah. With not only their missiles, but also their depth charges. Two minutes. Yeah, DFB12, man, they're they're a pretty.
pretty good crew. I mean, when they got their act together, uh, they can hit pretty hard too when they're working as a group. But I guess most groups are like that these days. It's generally you take turns smashing each other. You know, if you're uh, a, 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 even a moderate coiner, I guess, can um, can put up a pretty good front. Um, I, me, I'm one of those guys where you smash my base. Uh, if I'm in the middle of smashing, I'm, I'm going to stop. But not a lot of people are like that. They'll still keep coming. For me, it's time to go change the channel. Time to do something else. All right, it is home. Let's go inside and see what we got. Seventeen thousand five hundred and two VXP. That's a pretty good run right there. Um, this one right here now is up to fifty-four percent. All the other ones are up to sixty percent. It's pretty sweet. 15 hour repair on that bad boy. Mm, mm, mm. About 30 seconds left on the crew, so I made pretty good use of it. But, anyway, I guess that's it for me for now. I did fix the uh, patrol range on my enforcer. It was messed up bad. But it's fixed now. And, uh, so hopefully if I get hit today, it won't be a problem. Um, I do have 14 hours left on my bubble, and I probably will be relocating shortly. So, But anyway, you guys, uh, thanks for hanging out with me again on my Twitch. Yeah, that was good XP, right? Thanks for hanging out with me on my Twitch. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. Me and the wife, we have uh, got an appointment. So talk to you all later.